911 emergency. Uh, we have an active shooter at North Park Elementary. At North Park Elementary School? Yes, uh, one of our teachers was shot. Okay, we're on our way. What's, hold on, hold on. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. I'm... Don't hang up. At North Park Elementary. Yep. Hold on, honey. I'm getting school PD on the switch. Hold on. Hold on. District Police is Jeannie. Jeannie, this oh, is Ricky. They're telling me they got an active North shooter at North Park Elementary School. Okay, I didn't get any of that, but go ahead and transfer the call. Okay, they're on the phone. Okay, hi, how can I help you? We have an active shooter. One of our teachers got shot in the, in the classroom. At what school? This case takes us to San Bernardino, California. Newlyweds Karen Elaine Smith and Cedric Anderson appeared to be happy in love. He's on our honeymoon. Mm. Oh, your video? Yeah, video. Oh! <laughs> From now, see how I much fun you have, baby. I thought it was a regular shot. Hi! We're having <laughs> such a good time. <laughs> uh, we have been having a good time. Yeah. Mm. She got me hiking. Ooh, out here in Sedona. <sighs> <laughs> Us and all the folks. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot more. Us and all the folks. We out here hiking. <laughs> we having a ball. Tragically, on April 10th, 2017, Karen Smith would be shot to death at San Bernardino Elementary School, where she taught special education, and the person who pulled the trigger was her husband of less than two months. How did this once loving relationship end in murder? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. 53-year-old Karen Elaine Smith was a kind-hearted woman who loved her job as a special education teacher. She married 53-year-old Cedric Anderson. The couple seemed to have a loving relationship. Facebook sites of both Anderson and Smith appear to have posts that show the two of them talking about their relationship in a positive light on many occasions. In a video that was published in February, Anderson can be heard expressing how Smith makes him incredibly happy. What I love about my wife, boy, she is making really happy. She knows when to ignore me. <laughs> well, that makes a happy marriage. In a different post, which was published on March 11th, he said, My wife Karen Smith Anderson is an angel. Smith's faith allowed her to connect with her new husband, who had previously served as a preacher in the greater Los Angeles region. The two seem to have a great relationship, often posting happy videos and photos online. The two posted their honeymoon video in which they appeared to be happy in love. Before Smith and Anderson were married, Smith had known Anderson for a number of years. Her mother Irma Sykes reported that he appeared to be an amazing guy inside and out. He served as a pastor for 17 years, but he started to fall on hard times. Irma Sykes, Smith's mother, reported that Anderson always showed his good side, but never showed his other side until they were married. Unfortunately shortly after the marriage, Karen felt that she had reached her breaking point in her marriage to Cedric Anderson. Relatives claimed that there were indications of trouble in the marriage, not long after the couple tied the knot on January 28 at the Bethesda Temple Church in Los Angeles. Smith and Anderson were married for just two months prior to Smith packing her belongings and moving out of their residence in Riverside, California, in the middle of March. At some point, she decided that she needed to get away from Anderson. Smith relocated to be closer to her adult children and mentioned to close family and friends that Anderson had been behaving erratically. Infidelity allegations were also brought up throughout the course of the relationship. Smith did not comply with Anderson's attempts to make contact with her following the breakup in an effort to persuade her to go back home. She had said his behavior was weird and that she was worried about his behavior and that he had made some threats against her. She did not necessarily take such threats seriously. She believed that he was trying to get her attention. An acquaintance close to Smith described him as constantly projecting this image as a really spiritual man, holy guy, nonetheless, it was evident that he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. He was continuously on the radio, involved in a ministry run by the church. He was described as a narcissist person who basked in the glory of being in the limelight. A person who loved the sound of his own voice on the radio and delighted in uploading videos of himself to his Facebook page. On Monday, April 10, 2017, Anderson went to his wife's job at North Park Elementary School in San Bernardino, armed with a Smith & Wesson 357 caliber Magnum revolver, and opened fire inside his wife's classroom, firing 10 rounds into the room. In surveillance video at the school, we can see the shooter, Cedric Anderson. 
He attempts to enter North Park Elementary in San Bernardino, but the door is locked. No indication of a gun can be found. There is no indication that he is preparing to engage in a killing spree. Anderson then walks quietly to the school office since the door is locked. He was let in because staff members knew him to be a teacher's spouse. He does not seem upset or hostile, as you can see. Of course there was no way for the office personnel to be aware of his plans. He exits the office after signing his name and walks through the corridor into the school. A short while later, Anderson faced his ex-wife, special education teacher Karen Smith. He shot her and her eight-year-old student Jonathan Martinez that was standing next to her at the time. He died from his injuries. A nine-year-old student was also shot but later recovered. The two students were struck due of their close proximity to Smith and were not intended targets of the attack. Anderson then turned the gun on himself after killing Smith and her student. Authorities reported that instructors or personnel at Smith's primary school were unaware that there were difficulties in her marriage. Officials from the school and the police department have said that Anderson complied with all protocols when he showed up to the school on Monday morning, indicating that he needed to drop something off with his wife. He never showed his weapon until he entered the classroom. Smith kept her private life private and did not inform the school that Anderson was not allowed to visit her. A search of Anderson's home revealed a note. He talked about some things that needed closure and feeling disrespected, but no indication that he was going to harm himself or others. Those close to him were unaware of his criminal history, and it would only later be revealed by police that Anderson had a criminal history of domestic violence and weapons charges. Nearly 20 years before Cedric Anderson killed his wife Karen Smith, his first wife tried to get a restraining order against him. His ex-wife reported that he told her over the phone that he would kill her. It was said that the divorce was very nasty and that he accused her of assaulting him. A former girlfriend filed a restraining order against Anderson in 2016 because she said he was violent towards her. She said that he abused her over a period of months, threatening her with a butcher knife and trying to suffocate her with a pillow. In 2013, Anderson was arrested and charged with misdemeanor assault and battery, disturbing the peace, and brandishing a weapon. But because the victim didn't show up in court, the charges were dropped. In 1982, he was arrested four times for theft, having weapons, and domestic violence. He was never convicted of any of these crimes. One year after the shooting. There is no longer a classroom B1 since it was the location of the shooting. The room's walls have been taken down, and it is now available for the students to use as a workspace for their various projects. The family of Jonathan has filed a lawsuit against San Bernardino City Unified. They claim the district and principal Yudira Downing were negligent and that the shooting could have been avoided. The district made many improvements to the campus's security. Every classroom has been outfitted with windows made of tempered glass. There are doors made of steel, and the instructors have the ability to lock them from the inside. As the legislation of the state requires, a door that goes outdoors has been installed in each and every classroom. In the previous school year, Smith's classroom did not have a door that led to the outdoors. What happened to Karen Smith was a tragedy. She should have been allowed to move on with her life. My condolences to her friends and family as well as the family of Jonathan Martinez and all of those affected by this senseless crime. May you continue to find healing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.